Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on this Wednesday morning. Giving you a shot outside the window weather window right now. Interstate 15, uh, 119 exit looking south. As far as traffic goes, pretty clear, but we do have some fog and low clouds on the horizon. In fact, we have this freezing fog advisory. This goes until 2 o'clock, Upper Valley area. As you're driving, you might encounter some slick conditions, especially over bridges. Fog might come up on you pretty quick, so make sure you're driving the appropriate speed and you got your low beams on. Give yourself plenty of space between you and that vehicle in front of you. Here's a look at our visibility tracker. As you can see, we've now increased to about 5 miles of visibility through Idaho Falls. Still kind of dense in through Rexburg, 1.5 miles of visibility. Southern portion of the state, not too bad, pretty clear. 26 right now, Pocatello, mostly cloudy skies with a light wind at 7 miles per hour. That takes us down to 18 for a feels like temperature. Idaho Falls, 19 degrees. We have some fog and mostly cloudy skies with a 6 mile per hour wind. That takes us down to 11 for a feels like temperature. Temperatures around the region still below zero through Jackson, Driggs, Yellowstone, Island Park, Rexburg at 12. We're looking at 3 degrees for Dubois, single digits from Soda Springs, stretching through Montpelier, 19 in Malad City. The Power County area, American Falls, 27 degrees right now. As we make our way west, we get a little bit warmer temperatures in through the region. Right now, our light winds, single-digit wind speeds stretching I-15 corridor, calm through Downey, calm through Aberdeen, out at the site, 6 mile per hour wind. So, not too bad today. Here's a look at our storm tracker radar. Pretty clear in through eastern Idaho. We do have a couple of systems. One's coming in through California, northern California, pushing a little bit more rain. Another one coming in from Oregon and Washington. That's dropping rain in the lower elevations, snow in through the upper elevations. Our forecast for today, mostly cloudy skies to the Snake River Plain, Upper Valley hitting 22 for the daytime high, 31 for Pocatello, American Falls 25 for Blackfoot, and then in through the highlands in western Wyoming, partly cloudy skies today. Jackson, Driggs, Soda Springs, Yellowstone getting into the 20s today, upper teens for Afton and Island Park for a daytime high, and then for the Central Mountains, partly cloudy skies today. Salmon 27, Ledore 24, Stanley 22, same for Mackey, 21 for High and Chalice. Overnight tonight, just cloudy conditions the central mountains, but cold air, yeah, an 18 and overnight low for salmon. Lead ore getting down to 13, Stanley 12, Mackie 10, Chalice 13. Not quite as warm as the temperatures we're seeing this morning. We do have a slight chance of some early morning snow. This is mainly through the Island Park Ashton area that could extend into Yellowstone as well. Jackson Afton getting down to the single digits for the lows tonight. 11 for Yellowstone, Driggs, Soda Springs, 14 for Island Park, and then mostly cloudy skies for the Snake River Plain. 21 for Lone Pocatello, mid teens, low teens for Idaho Falls, Rexburg, and St. Anthony for those overnight lows. Here's a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Slight chance of seeing some snow early morning hours of Thursday through Pocatello 31 for the high tomorrow. Then it's back into the mid 20s for our daytime highs taking us into and out of the weekend and into the work week next week. Blackfoot cloudy 28 the high tomorrow will remain in the 20s for our daytime highs overnight lows from the middle teens to the upper single digits out of the weekend. Idaho Falls cloudy tomorrow 26 the high low 20s for Saturday and Sunday with Partly to mostly cloudy skies, a couple of days in the upper teens for our highs. Rexburg, cloudy skies tomorrow, 28 for the high, dropping down to 25 for Friday, 20 for the high on Saturday and Sunday. We'll get a little bit of sunshine for Sunday and Monday. Teton area, looking for mostly cloudy tomorrow, then mostly sunny for Friday. Next best chance of snow coming in on Sunday, with those overnight lows down in the single digits down to below zero. And the Central Mountains, slight chance of some snow tomorrow morning, and then it's partly cloudy skies taking us into the weekend. Deanne?